the pixel. You've heard it whispered in Facebook groups and you're asking yourself, what the heck even is this? How am I gonna put it on my website? I don't even know what to do. This video will show you how. One of the most common complaints we hear from new advertisers has to do with the Facebook pixel. It's this tiny little piece of code, but nobody has a clue how to use it at first. So in this video, we're gonna break it down for you, make the pixel super simple to understand and even simpler to install. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I'll share my favorite tool for ensuring that your Facebook pixel is installed correctly. All right, first we need to know what the heck is a pixel in the first place? A pixel is a tiny piece of code that you install on your website that sends information back to Facebook about which actions users take on your website. Now, the first time you see the pixel, it might feel a little bit scary because it's just a bunch of jumbled up letters and numbers, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly where we're going to put that and make it as easy as possible. So why is it important? Well, three things. The first is it helps you measure your results because Facebook doesn't know Know what's happening over on your website. And when you install the pixel, you give Facebook permission to understand who's becoming a lead or who is purchasing your products or services. The second thing that pixel does when it sends information back to Facebook is match up directly with the ads that you're running so that you can understand are people clicking your ad and what's happening once they do. If they're not clicking or if you're not making sales, you can use that information to improve your ad copy and creative. And finally, the Facebook pixel helps you with retargeting. Now this one, once I figured out what the heck retargeting was, blew my mind. Have you ever been on a website, maybe you're watching cat videos, and then all of a sudden an ad calls you out for your love of cats? Well, that's retargeting. And that's what the Facebook pixel can help you to do. When you install that pixel on your website, Facebook knows that user was there and then you can serve up targeted, relevant ads to the right person at the right time based on the actions they took on your website. When you log into your Facebook profile, come up to the top right hand corner and click the drop down you'll see the link to advertise on Facebook. If you've never advertised before, you likely don't have an ad account and therefore you don't have a pixel. So the next thing that we need to do is create an ad which launches our ad account. The very first time that you sign in, this is the screen that you'll see. It's prompting you to jump right in and create a Facebook ad, but we don't wanna do that yet. So click close to go to the ads manager general dashboard. From there, come to the top left hand corner to these three lines where you'll find all of the menu options inside of ads manager. Now there are a lot of options here, so don't stress. Today is all about installing the Facebook pixel first and foremost. To do that, we're gonna click attribution. And this is gonna launch a new page where we're creating a business manager account. Now you might be thinking, business manager? Wait, I thought I just needed a regular Facebook ads account. In the past, you could use a regular Facebook ads account, but Facebook is now prompting us to use their more intuitive and robust business manager. Don't worry, we're gonna keep this super simple. So go ahead and click create account. Then you'll enter in your business and account name. In my case, that would be the ad strategist your name and your business email. Once that's done, go ahead and click next. Here, you're gonna add in all the rest of your business details, starting with your country and then filling out all the rest of your personal information and mailing address. Before you click submit, you just have to let Facebook know your intended business use of this account. Is it to promote your own goods or services or to act as a service provider to other businesses? Now click submit and your business manager account will be created. Once you've created your business manager account, you're gonna see this business settings view on your screen. Now it looks like a lot of data, don't be scared. We're actually not gonna do anything on this page at all. Come back up to the menu, select all tools to expand the entire menu, and then click events manager. This is gonna launch a new screen where you can find your Facebook pixel. If data sources on the screen isn't selected, scroll over to the left and make sure you click that 
and then come down to the ad account, that business manager account that you just created and click on this beautiful big green button that says set up your pixel. Now Facebook is gonna launch a new screen with a new pop-up giving you the code to manually install on your website. Now, this is what is called the base code. See the string of numbers and letters here? We're gonna take this pixel code and install it on the header of your website. Now, that sounds complicated, but I'm gonna illustrate how to do it in WordPress. But don't worry, if you're not on WordPress, we gotcha. Head on over to my YouTube channel by clicking the link in the description below, where I'll show you how to install the pixel on different platforms like Squarespace, Lead Pages, or ClickFunnels. So let's jump jump into WordPress. Now we're gonna install a plugin to make this as easy as pie. To find your plugins, go to the left-hand column here, click plugins, and then we'll select to add a new plugin. Facebook has made this super simple. So all we're gonna do is search Facebook Pixel. That's it, now we just head on over to the official Facebook plugin and click install now. Once it's installed, we'll choose to activate it. Now to add your pixel to this plugin, you're gonna navigate down to the official Facebook pixel and click settings. Now, funny enough, this plugin is not gonna ask us for that entire string of letters and numbers that make up our Facebook code. Instead, what they're looking for is this string of numbers beside the FBQ and niche. And so when we try and click here to copy and paste that, it's going to copy and paste the entire code. So a quick workaround is coming up to the URL at the top here, this permalink, and grabbing the pixel ID, the numbers after pixel ID equals. So we'll go ahead and highlight that and click copy to then bring that over to WordPress to paste in your pixel ID. Go ahead and save those changes to your website. And that's it, it's really as simple as that. Your Facebook pixel is installed and we'll check if it's working in just a second. But now you can track your website visitors' behavior to measure your ROI, improve your ads, and retarget people in the future. So how do we know if it's actually working? You're gonna Google the Pixel Helper for Chrome. Now this is for the Chrome browser, not Safari or you crazy internet explorer types. We've also linked it in the description below. But once you're on the Facebook Pixel Helper, all you have to do is click Add to Chrome and then add the extension. Now you have this handy little tool to confirm if your ads are working. Now, when you go to a website that has the Facebook Pixel installed correctly, this little icon is going to go from gray to blue to indicate that there is a pixel present. And when you click it, the last thing that you wanna do is confirm that there are green check marks beside your pixel events. Now, if you see any other color but green lit up on the Facebook Pixel Helper or any errors flashing on the screen, I have an article that can help you decode what potentially could be happening with your Pixel. You can check that out in the description below. So now that your Facebook Pixel is installed, you're ready to continue on in your Facebook advertising journey. And we wanna make that easy for you, so check out this playlist of incredible videos to help you master Facebook advertising. And in this playlist, you're gonna find tons of other amazing content from other experts about mastering the ads manager, learning which metrics matter most, and even how to set up simple ad campaigns for just a few dollars a day.